As we go through the barn, no two years has the storage barn ever looked the same for the operation. We've always learned something different that worked and didn't work and how can we tweak this and how can we change this and let's put this over here and that's, that's what really makes it a lot of fun. We always strive to have backup sets of reels from our greens reels all the way to our fairway mowers. We can't allow for downtime due to cutting units. And so if the superintendents are throwing sand, it's pretty common that if one's throwing sand, the others are at the same time or they're doing it very shortly. So it's very important that uh, we're able to swap out multiple golf courses of cutting units at one time. In the back of our storage barn, uh, where we're actually located, uh, Tim and I came up with this idea to put concrete blocking in to uh, mix our own divot mix for our crew to utilize out on the golf courses. And what we've done is kind of throughout the season we figured out kind of the magical ratio between our native sand, uh, peat moss, as we, and our uh, fescue uh, grass seed. And we go ahead and pre-mix everything back in this area so then as the crew comes in and loads, all they have to do is load. One of the other really unique things that we've done here at Sand Valley with our equipment is that they're having issues seeing in the morning, especially when it was dark. Um, so one thing we did do is we installed, it's actually a Workman HDX light kit, and we installed that on the wraps. And so it has two sets of lights for easy visibility. And then we've also installed a uh, foamer kit. And what this does is this allows them to drop foam in the morning so they can see where their next pass is. In particular, this machine here, we've actually taken to the next level. And those of you who recognize this, this is actually the Procore um, tracking arm that are actually on the ends, the bottoms of the Procore for lining up your next pass. And uh, what we've done is we've actually made this to where you can take it from side to side, depending on which direction you're mowing, and then so your next pass actually mows your foam off, so then you know you're not getting any skips out on this fine fescue. All right, so these are our Salsco rollers here. Another thing that was requested by our superintendents was some days they just roll greens, they don't mow roll, and what they needed is for one guy to be able to repair ball marks and whip, do whip greens. And so what we'd actually have done is we installed a ball mark repair holder here on the Salsco, and then a dew whip holder that goes along with the machine. With our fleet of our size and only having three technicians in the shop, communication is key. So what we've created is just a simple equipment repair tag. We purchased these by the bundles on Uline. And what we do is we have it to where it's, you put the date, the machine, the problem that they're having, and also who discovered the issue. So after, uh, our crew member has filled out the top portion of this ticket and then placed the bottom portion in our box. What they'll do is they'll take this, and then they're gonna actually just simply zip tie it directly onto the steering wheel, facing up so everyone can see. So if there's a small issue with this machine and we can't get it in the shop right away and it goes back into the storage barn, not only are we aware of it, but any other employee that tries to utilize this machine is known knows the problem prior to taking it out on the golf courses. Really, it's trying to make our time the most efficient as possible and ensuring that uh, everything's getting cleaned right, parked right, uh, and maintained right.